Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today what I actually want to do is my predictions for the upcoming WWE pay-per-view Elimination Chamber. Um, now basically there's been four matches that have actually been announced for the pay-per-view um, so that gives them a bit of room to actually put in other matches. So what I'm going to start with is my prediction for some of the other matches and who might actually win them. My first one is going to go with the Raw Tag Team Championships. And I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be um, The Bar, obviously, uh, Cesaro and Sheamus, versus Titus Worldwide, Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews. Um... Yeah, we, we all know that the bar will walk away with it, but with Titus Worldwide having a few victories over him leading up to this, I think that's probably what they're going to go with. Another possible tag team match is going to be the club versus the Revival, uh, because they've had their, their little rivalry going on for a little while. Um, obviously the club, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, and the Revival... Um, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. I kind of want the Revival to come out on top on this one, just because they are an awesome tag team. They are like completely brilliant, and they've not been getting really a good run lately. They've kind of been getting pushed down a bit, which sucks to see because they are really talented and they deserve a bit more from it. So yeah, my prediction for that is hopefully the Revival are going to win that. Another one that we're possibly going to see is the continuation of the Cruiserweight Tournament for the Cruiserweight Championship. I can't say who I think is going to be in that or who I think is going to win, but yeah, we're definitely going to see that. So yeah, on to uh, the stuff that we know is going to be happening. And the first thing is we know that we're going to be seeing Ronda Rousey signing a contract with Raw. No, I thought it was probably probably going to be SmackDown because I thought we might have been seeing Ronda Rousey facing off against Charlotte at WrestleMania, but that doesn't really look like it's going to happen. So maybe what's going to happen is we're going to get to see uh, Steph uh, wrestling again, and what we'll get is Steph against Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania because we've seen a bit of a clash between them at previous WrestleMania where The Rock called her into the called Ronda into the ring and there was the face off. So yeah, I think that's what's going to happen there. Uh, going on to the matches that we know are happening, let's start out with Bray Wyatt versus Broken Matt or Walken Matt. I, I love the character, uh, Broken Matt, but there's a lot more that can be done with him. Like I, I stated in a previous video that I thought this was a big opportunity for them to push Bray Wyatt and uh, do well with this character. But they haven't really been doing what they can do with it, if you get me there. So, it's kind of disappointing. So, I just want to see the storyline end and hopefully they can push Matt Hardy a little bit further with it. Um, the winner of this match, I think it's going to be uh, Matt Hardy. Hopefully, I'm just going to root for Matt Hardy throughout this. Because, like I say, I love the character. Broken Matt is he's, he's just brilliant. Going on to the next match, we've got Asuka versus Nia Jax. Um, and if Nia Jax wins, she will be put into the um, title match at WrestleMania. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Asuka is going to continue her streak going on to WrestleMania. Uh, whether they'll continue it after WrestleMania or not, I'm not too sure. But I've, I just think, and I actually hope, that they keep her streak going just the whole way through, uh, going on to WrestleMania as undefeated because it's one of the most impressive undefeated streaks we've seen. And Asuka is an amazing in ring talent, just 100% an amazing in ring talent. So I'm going with Asuka on that one. What we have is the Women's Elimination Chamber match for the Women's Championship. Um, we've got Alexa Bliss. Bailey, Mandy Rose, Mickey James, Sasha Banks, and Sonya Deville. Um, I, I've got a feeling that they will play a bit with Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville in this um, because of the whole absolution. I've got a feeling they will try to keep them together throughout 
most of the match. Maybe we'll see one or two bits where it's like, well, I'm going for the title, so fuck you. But, fingers crossed, they actually keep the whole absolution thing going because it's it keeps Paige in there. Unfortunately, uh, from what we've seen in the news, like Paige can't wrestle anymore due to injury. So... I want to be able to see Paige sticking around in at least the managerial role. And Absolution is a good way to have someone who's got the experience behind them pushing to people who kind of need the boost. Uh, not that they're bad in-ring talents because they are, as, I've, as you've seen, they're really good in-ring talents. But to have Paige there to give them that boost would be brilliant. Also, I'm hope I'm kind of hoping we see a Sasha Banks heel turn, uh, her turning on Bailey and just go running riot like she beats Bailey, and then um, we actually see Sasha attacking Bailey after she's already put her out. I want to say that Sasha Banks is going to win this. Uh, obviously, Alexa Bliss is my favorite wrestler, and I'd love to see Alexa Bliss uh, keep the championship. But, more than that, I'd love to see Sasha Banks actually pull off the victory and start a storyline heading into WrestleMania where maybe it's going to be Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Asuka for the championship. Because they've both had this whole thing like, I could beat her, I could beat her, well, well yeah. So, that would kind of be, be a good storyline to see going ahead. So, yeah, my pick for the Women's Elimination Chamber is Sasha Banks. And finally, we have the Men's Elimination Chamber, which has just been made a seven-man elimination chamber. Uh, in there we have Braun Strowman, Elias, Finn Balor, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and The Miz. Um, we've got the stipulation that The Miz has to enter first after his match against John Cena. Uh, where the loser would have to enter first, so the Miz is entering first, and Elias won the triple threat match, which allows him to be able to enter last, which gives him a bit of an advantage. But I think we all know Elias isn't going to walk away with this. Um, the the whole rumours behind WrestleMania going through to it have been that we're going to be seeing Brock Lesnar face off against Roman Reigns. So. I think Roman Reigns is going to win this and walk away to prepare for WrestleMania, prepare to face uh, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. So my pick there is going to be Roman Reigns. Um, another thing that I'm hoping is that we kind of get kick-started with another possible rumour that is The Undertaker will face John Cena at WrestleMania. I know this is one that's been going forward for a long time, like... So many years it's been, um, everyone's been speculating, will they do it? Will they actually have John Cena face off against The Undertaker? But if if we're being serious, The Undertaker hasn't really got many WrestleManias left. He's been around for a long time. That's not to say that he's not still great in the ring. He is. He's still the phenom. He's still one of the biggest attractions in wrestling. Um, but... With him getting on in age, it's more of a case of when is his last WrestleMania going to be. And I honestly think it might be this year. So, give the fans what they want to see. Give them Undertaker versus John Cena. No matter who ha who you have win, the fans are going to go mental just for hearing this, uh, this match alone. So, we could have like a spot where... John Cena feels like he's almost on the cusp of victory. He's just inches away against Roman Reigns. And then, like, The Undertaker shows up and puts down Cena. Could have something like that going ahead, uh, which would be brilliant. But, yeah, I'm rattling on now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're, they're my picks for what I think is going to happen at the Elimination Chamber and who I think is going to pull away victories. Um so yeah, let's just hope for a good Wrestle uh, WrestleMania. Let's just hope for a good Elimination Chamber. Um, I hope you did like the video. Um, I want to do more of these, like each time there's a pay-per-view, uh, just before and I want to sit and do my predictions for it. So if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on who you think's going to win each match. 
uh, throughout the Elimination Chamber. Or even if it's just one match that you're looking forward to, comment that down below. Um, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.